Okay, I'm going to play with my new toy and kind of show you how this works. This for anybody that might be interested. I know I'm prepping stuff. I promise I'm going to make like a uh, electronics playlist and start putting all these videos there. And I think I'll tag them with the side like not prepping or something in the title so people will know. Because I know some people have no interest in this whatsoever. But I like everything. I like guns. and I like everything except for football and sports. So... I guess I just that's how I roll. Um, so basically, you turn this bad boy on. I have it set for 350 degrees. Um, it it's got to be Fahrenheit uh, because, but you can adjust it in like one degree increments. Because 272 is about the hottest you go in Celsius with any board. So 350 would burn it up in Celsius. So it must be Fahrenheit since it's the U.S. version. Here is where you adjust the airflow speed. I keep that about five and a half. Seems to work good. Now it won't heat up until you pick it up. It's got like a little magnet in the handle so it knows when it's hung up. Pick that up. Now you'll see the temperature start climbing. And blowing. And then it'll hold it right at 350 degrees exactly. Um, I've got the small tip on here. Okay. And now when you hang it back up, I'll probably have to put some foil tape on my wall before I burn it up. It cools it down. With the small tip on it, it, it takes a longer time to cool down than with the big tip or no tip. Um, but it cools it down before it shuts shuts it off the uh, fan. That way it helps prolong the life of the heating element in there. So I'm going to show you how this works. I'm going to remove a component on this little old fax board that came off of a bad fax machine. I already took this one right here off and put it back on again. Let's go for this little guy right here. Um, I'm not even sure what he is. Looks like it might be a rectifier. Um, we'll, we'll pull that little guy off and then I'll put it back on. Oh, let me get the camera there. I'll put that little guy right there off and put it back on. And I think what I'll do is try to set my camera up here to where you'll be able to see it. See me work on it. Yeah, I just need like something to hold it. Alright, let me figure this out and I'll be back. Okay, folks. I think I about figured out how to uh, make this uh, maybe work here. Um, let's see here. Mm. Maybe not. I don't know. Hey, yeah, I think that'll work. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my so my uh, wand all heated up. Okay, I let it run for just a, you know, 30 extra seconds. Make sure it's really good and hot. And then we're just going to come down here, move this around like so. Just a little bit. Should be about ready. I'm going to pick it up there, maybe. Nope, not yet. Make sure I'm still in frame there. Oh, yeah. Let me hit this on this angle, too. And it's off. We'll let that cool down. And then uh, I'll go ahead and stop the video here. And then I'll show you how to we clean it up and put it back on. Okay. So now that I've 
clean that off and now I just want to take my soldering pad and clean off that excess solder now that I've taken that part off so for this I'm just going to get my soldering wick I'll clip it down to some nice fresh stuff and then I just place my soldering wick on there and now I just take it I just heat this up real good like so Make sure that she's all cleaned up. We gotta miss these other little parts. Now you want to let it cool down for a few minutes because the other little parts around it may very well have, uh, you know, kind of come loose too if you don't let it cool down. I need to tighten up my tip on here real good. Come at least on me. There we go. Just let it sit on there for a second and it'll suck the solder off off of that thing. It is important that you get as much of the old uh, solder off it as you can. There we go. Looks pretty good. Okay, now I'm going to take this. Uh, this is a soldering paste is basically solder and, and flux mixed together and we're just going to take and put a little bit of it on each of these pads doesn't have to be perfect because it will flow back to where it needs to be for the most part We need a bigger tool, don't we all? Okay, a little bit there, a little bit on these two pads. That's all you gotta do. Now you take your part and you place it back onto the board where it goes very gently and try to get it straight. Like so. That's about right. Now we take our gun and we'll let this heat up again. I'll give it a few extra seconds. And now we'll just start heating this up. And it's, it's the air might move it a little bit. We'll turn my airflow down just a hair. And you'll see it'll just start to solder paste will just start to change. And how it'll just reflow back to the legs and those pads. And I just heat it up a little extra good just to make sure. And that's it. You're done. Oh, that's pretty little. Okay, there we go. I hung it up wrong. Now, this is still hot, you have to let it cool. But you can see that it's soldered this down. You got these little pads are all connected. It did not dislocate any of this stuff, which is problems you might have with other trying to do this with other types of equipment. All right, folks, I just thought I'd show you how that's done. I think it's neat. This is Tom, your frugal prepper.